and then it's not even looking at me. There we go. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. We're going to go to an event today, have a little bit of us time. Um, <clears throat> but now that the chickens are all done, I can get a couple other things I gotta get done this morning, and then we'll be headed off. Um, but first, first thing that I have to do is I gotta play with this guy. Good morning, Mr. Kelly. Good morning. Where are we headed today? Raven Rock State Park. Um, they've got a 50th anniversary today, so we're gonna go have some us time, like I talked about before, um, and see somebody I haven't seen in a while. shift wasn't as long last night so that was nice. I was supposed to work till 12.50 and got off at 11.30 so there's that. But ready to have some fun today with my honey. Woo! <laughs> so we're headed to the state park for some food and fun and good friendship. Obviously I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. It's 11.15 and I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. And we ran out of creamer. I love for creamer. Of any kind. Lately we have started trying, I said we, I have started trying out goat's milk because it's something that I can drink that doesn't affect my disease. And I actually really like it. But we ran out of goat's milk yesterday morning and then the coconut milk was bad this morning. Very bad this morning. So, that's okay. I guess I'll drink it black. Was fun? Yeah. Good. We got to. It's very informational. It's hard for me to focus on everything though because of being slowed down by the heat. Yeah. We got to meet the guys from Little River Eco Farm. Um, they're pretty cool. I like what they do. Um, we're going to try and set up a time to meet with them um, have and dinner. have dinner and get some information together. Um, what did yeah. you learn today? What I learned today, yeah. hemp sells for $900 a pound. So uh, might be something we look into. Yeah, uh, that's kind of crazy. That's crazy. Um, other than that, 
it was just kind of just a fun, uh, enjoy people's uh, company kind of day. So, Absolutely. we're gonna go home now. We're gonna check on our chickens and, and, our, dogs. and our dogs and uh, just enjoy the rest of the weekend. Good morning guys. I am going to get some water for the plants that are growing for our fall garden. Um, so I'm helping Josh out this morning. He doesn't know that, but um, I'm going to help get some water for the plants. So um, we, use, we use old wine bottles put the water in and each flat gets one wine bottle worth of water. Um, don't see the other, oh there it is, found it. So the dogs are crazy this morning. It looks like they went out and ran through the soybeans because the boys are all wet. So. That's one thing that we struggle with, is they do know the property lines when we're outside, but they don't really like to respect them all the time. So, we are working on it. Um, it's been a rough morning for me so far. I woke up crying. Um, something that happens occasionally. Just uncomfortable and in pain is my wine bottles <laughs> um, but it's usually not a good day if I wake up crying and in pain so we'll see how the day goes um. all right so um, gonna finish putting away the rest of the feed for the broilers we got a bunch of broilers we got 50 broiler chickens they're coming looks like Thursday um, and we got brooder done I've made the brooder this Sunday um, so that'll be fun to have those it's a new experience for us but it's gonna be fun um, but we have to go to an appointment in Charlotte uh, for Jordan's MS diagnosis um, this is a follow-up appointment a couple of months later and that way we can figure out what we exactly want to do, um, if we want to do medicine, if we don't want to do medicine. It's a tough decision. It's a decision that she needs to make that I told her that she can make whatever decision she wants, but I support her. Um, but I'm gonna leave this video with that. Um, she's going to talk to you a little bit about her struggles the struggle with MS, how she feels about it, how she's dealing with it, and I hope that it allows you guys to see that just because somebody looks like they might be good doesn't always mean they are. Um, we have to remember to take the time to think about what other people are experiencing. Um, I think a lot of people get really, really busy and they don't even think about the person they might be having a tiff with, um, the struggles that other people may face, including myself. Um, sometimes I just don't think about it. And sometimes as I'm making these videos, editing them and putting them up for you guys, I have to watch them, uh, make sure that they're good to go as I make them. So I see things over and over and over again. And it just reminds me sometimes why we're doing this, especially why I'm doing it because it's not always about me. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, hope you guys get something out of it. Um, if you like the videos, you wanna see more videos, you wanna hear more, you wanna follow us 
on our journey um, as we grow more things, uh, as we do more things around here. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you share it. That would be fun, especially if you're dealing with the same stuff. That way we can do it with you. That would be fun. Um, that'd be great. Uh, but share it, hit the subscribe button, subscribe button, <laughs> so you can be a part of our journey. Um, and we look forward to seeing you next time. But this time, here's Jordan and what she has to say. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick video and kind of talk a little bit more about my struggles with multiple sclerosis. Um, I know that in our intro video, we briefly talked about it, but I just wanted to go a little bit more in depth. Um, so yesterday, I know you'll see part of this, but yesterday Josh and I drove to Charlotte for my neurologist appointment and it was a check-in appointment three months out from our initial appointment back in June where I was diagnosed. Um, in July, I was put on gabapentin for nerve pain. So I have a lot of nerve pain in my lower back and hips. And then I also struggle with just kind of all over body pain. Um, it's difficult some days to have MS because it's such an invisible disease and I look normal. I act normal. I'm able to walk normally, but there are some days where Josh has had to physically help pick me up and walk with me so that I am balanced and so I don't fall over. There's a lot of times where I forget words and slur with my speech. So you'll see in some of the videos, I might slur a little bit and I'd love to go back and fix that, but it's just my new normal. Um, I joined a couple Facebook groups to just kind of have a little bit of closure in accepting this new life. Um, it's hard to because there's a lot of depression tied into this disease um, because it, it messes with your nerves and it messes with your brain a bit. So I have a lot of cognitive brain fog a lot of the time where I can't think clearly, I can't understand something. And it's very hard because I, I'm typically such a happy, upbeat person. And when the depression hits, it's very hard for me to deal with because that's not the kind of person I am. And it's a struggle some days. Today is not one of my better days, but it's not one of my worst either. Uh, sometimes the gabapentin also messes with my mind, um, but I, I'm looking forward to starting treatment. So yesterday at my neurology appointment, uh, the neurologist and I talked about the symptoms I've been having and even though we can't see the MS in my cranial MRIs, I have all of the symptoms for it. And the only lesion we found is down in my T10 thoracic spine, but I have a lot of the symptoms for MS. And so we are going to start out on Copaxin, which is an injection that I will be giving myself three times a week. And what it does is it tries to trick my immune system to attacking the injection versus attacking my nervous system. So we will see how that works, um, see if it stops the progression. There's a lot of people that do have bad side effects from it and have more pain from it. But being in the very, very beginnings of MS, I am really hopeful that it stops the progression. Um, we're also going to try the diet, as we've talked about before. 
and I actually go back on Monday to the neurologist so we will have a longer day because we'll have to leave around 5.30 in the morning to get there for my appointment and we will be there for about three and a half hours and then have another three and a half hour drive back. So Monday will be a long day but I am going to do a full nerve test and also get um, some pressure point injections because of how tight my neck and shoulders and back and lower back are. So we're gonna try that and see if it works. I also get to go see a physical therapist for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, which is great because <laughs> it's just another thing. Um, the nice thing is though, is that she did prescribe me to get a cranial cervical massage. So I get to go every two to four weeks to get a massage, um, which I hope will also help with the stress and tension on my neck and back. But there's just a lot going on in life and there's always a lot going on. So I just wanted to be raw with you guys and be transparent and share my struggles um, because not every day is good and not every day is bad. And I just really want to not let this disease get the best of me. Um, the unfortunate thing is right now, multiple sclerosis doesn't have a cure. So when I start the medicine, You never stop. And that's... That's a very hard realization. And it's hard to accept. Right. <sighs>